Residents of Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia may have encountered an unusual scenario last month when an experiment relating to driverless car technology played out around them on the streets. The experiment, initiated by Ford Motor Company and Virginia Tech's Transportation Institute, intended to capture the reactions of pedestrians, cars, and bicyclists to driverless cars. A Ford Transit Connect was outfitted with 360-degree cameras, a light bar that indicates the intentions of the driverless car, and something else, an actual driver. That's right, with autonomous vehicle technology still in the testing stage, Ford used a real human driver for this effort, but outfitted him with a suit that looked just like a vehicle seat. Without looking closely through the window downwards to see his hands at the bottom of the steering wheel, people would have no way of knowing that it was an actual person at the helm. The results were interesting, though, I mean, not particularly surprising. Driverless technology is still a novelty, so many responded with looks of shock, with some even taking pictures. They wanted a, they wanted a little selfie with the driverless car. Hey, there's nobody in there. Got it. But what the study did yield was a need for these vehicles to provide clear indications of what their intentions would be. The test car's light bar used signals to indicate whether it planned to yield or accelerate and one that indicated it was driving autonomously. Researchers feel that a language like this could replace the unspoken rules of the road that have long existed between drivers and pedestrians and effectively keep people safe. I'm David Manti, this is IEN Now. I'm going to lunch today and I'm pretty sure that we found one of those driverless cars that no one's like, I mean, it's autonomous, there's not even a driver there. What are those hands? No, those hands! <laughs>